Happy World Down Syndrome Day, bitches! Happy World Down Syndrome Day! Mwah. Jesus Christ! Happy World Down Syndrome Day! 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 I'm so sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, guys, you know what? It's so funny. Because the wokey wokes will use anyone and anything to further their 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 goals and aims. You know what I'm saying? Seriously. And guys, they this is a group that claims to be the most tolerant, right? The most loving and kind and look at what they're doing to these types of people this is insane guys guys if you guys honestly think that the people in this video understand what they're representing you've been had you've been took you've been hoodwinked bamboozled let us run amok and they're the ones to call everyone else intolerant and mean and rude and they're and they're making people like, like this Dress, walk, and talk at, well, talk, I guess, but like like this. Clown shoes, man. Absolutely insane. And guys, I'm not going to even get in, in into the comments on here. So you saw some of, some of them pop up on the screen, right? Guys, it's brutal, man. It's brutal. You know what I mean? But only one group of people will put these types of people up, up here and have them present themselves in this way, right? And guys, the hashtags, hashtag Down Syndrome Day, hashtag Down Syndrome Awareness, aware, aware, awareness. hashtag Pride, hashtag Pride Month. Look at that, guys. Absolutely insane. Why? Why? Where are these pe people's parents? Where? Or, or guardians or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Putting this on the internet. Guys, on this post, about six... Or seven people are asking, yo, who put them up to to this? <laughs> Clown world. I don't really believe in gender. Like, Clown I think the world. idea of a man is, a, it's, a, it's a social construct. So uh -huh. I don't think we need the social construct of manhood at all. People use it to categorize society. And like, we like to put things in boxes because it's easy for us to understand the world if we can put it in categories. But I don't think we need that. And I actually think that if we get rid of that, we can understand each other as human beings a little bit more. I'm non-binary and I have gone about the world being like, it's one and two and it's this category or the other one and neither of them have ever really felt good to me and i have actually had a hard time like i've seen interviews like this that's like what is a woman and no nobody can come up with an idea i don't have a definition either so i just don't think it's something that we need i've never had to had a comfortable experience in either one and i've never been able to really relate to one side of it or the other so i've never needed it guys this right here is the arrogance of abundance and the ignorance of abundance of abundance this knucklehead right here can say what they've been saying because there's because there's no real problems in america meaning uh, uh, uh wars on american soil famine whatever this person's never been through a natural dis disaster this person's never had the lights go out and not come back on for weeks at a time this person's never had wow uh uh uh, a polluted water for long periods of time. This person, person, person's never been the victim of extreme violence, right? So you can have this type of woo woo, you know, uh, uh, you know, pink glasses type of, uh, type of view. But guys, once this ish hits the fan, we know what what a man is real fast. Guys, isn't it f funny how we have knuckleheads like this? All these, right? Trying to say that there are no men and women, but then all the I am woman here anymore in numbers too big to ignore are quick to tell us what a real man should should do, and that men should should be sensitive, and men need to step up and help effinists and all this other stuff. Isn't it funny how the wokey woke speak out of the 
out of both sides of their neck. And I guarantee you guys, because one day, that's just the thing, the Wokey Wokes are just like uh, all these simps, blue pillars, and beta. guys, they're gonna get got. Life has a way of showing you what's up. And guys, hashtags. Hashtag LDHGTV. Hashtag non-binary. Look at that, guys. Clown world. Is your life better? Are you happier? Is, is everything better now that you're slightly smaller than you were before? Absolutely. And I'm not a little bit smaller. I'm a lot smaller. Look at I that. can still have kids. And that may not have happened if I had to stay the size I was. Like, my question to you is, can you honestly say that you are... 100% happy and healthy. Um, I think it's really interesting that I feel like I need to justify my existence in this room. No. I just think that, the, the, that this is a, this, how the way the discussion is running is very indicative of the general prevailing attitude towards fatness and the refusal to even accept that potentially there can be other ways of living a, as a hel in a healthy up, body. So I just want to know what what are you what are you eating? Like I just want to know, and I'll tell you what I eat, and we can and, work and out. so that's what it comes down to. Like you're, what you're saying well, is you incredibly, said you do aqua. like it's it's such a small equation that you you want to know what I eat. I eat Stop salad, I eat meat, I don't eat carbs because they don't agree with me. Um, I, you know, I, I eat a lot of fruit and vegetables. I'm primarily vegetarian. Is your life? As if you honestly believe that this knucklehead here is vegetarian. You've been had. You've been took. And I guess pasta is vegetarian. <laughs> but guys, guess what? Guess what? Uh, plot twist, guys. This knucklehead right here is no longer with us. Yep. This, this activist, this body positive person passed away not too long ago, guys. Right? And did you notice how... How she pulled the victim card, right? Well, I don't know why I have to justify myself. How dare you? You want to know how much, how much I'm eating? How dare you? Clown world. Clown world, guys. And this was from a while ago. This, uh, uh, this is when this person first started doing the interviewing rounds. I mean, the, uh, the show cir circuits, right? And guys, there's a, there's a video that I might go over on Locals of her trying to give a TED talk. <laughs> She's completely out of breath the whole time. <laughs> but guys, we all know that being heavier is not healthy. And in places like Australia, the U UK, you know, America, Canada, we have so much food. Like I said, the arrogance of abundance leads to the ignorance of abundance, right? Where they've tried to make it normal for, for people to be this big. Right, guys? There's nothing wrong with carrying some extra weight, right? You're supposed to be 168, and you're about 10 pounds of weight, 15 pounds. Maybe you, you know, you, you're you not as active as you want, fine. But when you're carrying two, three, four hundred extra pounds, come on, man. Guys, if you travel anywhere else in the world, Asia, Africa, the Middle East, people are not large. You don't see big people. You know what I'm saying? You don't. But... These knuckleheads here, they they try and put their whole like they try and act like how things are here should be normal and normalized and everywhere else doesn't matter and then talk about the colonialist mindset. Please, please, guys, take care of yourselves. Be the healthiest, happiest versions of yourself that you can be, and that involves getting in the gym. You know what I'm saying? No one's asking you to be Ronnie Coleman or some friggin' uh, or Lance Armstrong or some Olympic athlete or whatever. Just be the healthiest version of yourself that you can be, guys. These woke wokey wokes, man, they just don't they don't listen until it's too too late. So, all right, you guys, this is AJ. I pre appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, check out my locals, guys. My second channel linked in the description, the playlist at the end, and I'm out, out of here, guys. Have a good one.